Okay, I want to demonstrate using the uh, the window title and window class and also this uh, selection for the window title. So first, let's go ahead and capture something. Uh, oh, I like this, F1. Now uh, let's do the, what is that? Close? I don't know what that button is, uh, but it doesn't matter. All right, display matches. Great, it finds it. Now notice this is my full path here. Now what if I move this file, right? That path would change. Or what if I change the file name? Well, let me do... File, save as, blah. Now suddenly that, that path is no longer, oops, it's on the far left, I think. Instead of try.hk, it's what I call it, blah. Yeah, blah.hk. So display matches, theoretically should come up and say, hey, couldn't find it, right? Couldn't find it. Um, that's because it's looking for this full thing. Well, you know, what I might want to do is say, and I added this character already here, sorry about that, but um, I'm gonna look for this dash, and look after the last one, so it, it goes and updates this window to say, hey, just look for site window somewhere, I'm sorry, site for auto hotkey somewhere in this title, right? And notice it's up here. So display matches, it's there. Now it finds it. And this way, regardless of if I change my file name, it's not gonna matter, right? Um, the other thing you could you could even do is you could, you could get rid of it entirely um, and just use the window class. So display matches should still find it just fine. What's great is this window class, and let's bring up the, the window spy tool. Oh, I hit the wrong hotkey. Oh, it's running, I think. It's already running, sorry. There we go. Uh, and if I was to mouse over, oh, I've locked it. You know what, let me close it, relaunch it. There we go. Um, and it doesn't matter what I'm looking at. I just have to be over it. And now hold down control and shift. So control shift. So see right here, this AHK class site window, um, that's what is this here, right? And the fact that, hey, you know what? That site window, there's there's right now, at least not on my computer or anywhere else, I know just because I'm not running the site multiple times, um, it's only gonna be looking there. So I don't even need a window title in this case. The um, The speed, Let's let's do a move and speed should be, um, yeah, very fast. So it's 250 milliseconds, a quarter of a second to do that search. I have three large windows, but it's not searching everywhere. It's it first says, hey, where is the this site window class, and then just search in that area for this image, right? So that's the benefit of doing this. Um, just take some practice on whether you want to use all of it. You know, you, you need to understand your scripting and what you're going to use and how you're going to use it. If you're going to have multiple instances of a given thing, um, the window class is great. Some things like my toolbar and stuff don't, it doesn't capture the class properly. So those go a little slower, but all in all, this window class is a great way to tie it in. Um, I, I definitely recommend more often than not, you leave that, um, possibly delete this or just control you know, narrow down the focus to be like just the name of the program instead of the file name, unless you have multiple instances open, you want to say only do this in this file, right? But that's how you use those things. Cheers.